Hey guys, what's going on? It's Radiance. And today, I got a special gift for you. Um, I'm going to do a gameplay Saturday type thing. And today, we got a game called Fragments of Ham. Uh, I actually know little to nothing about this game. I, uh, found it on... Oh, shit. I found it on one of the websites I normally browse when I'm bored, and... It seemed like an interesting game. Apparently, it's from the basis of this guy who died, and it's it's a really weird description. It's like the guy died, and it's like you're running through his life and seeing what he did and if he did anything to make a difference or something like that. I don't know what it's about, honestly. I, the description, like it was that's all the description. It was very vague. It didn't say what kind of game it was. Change the camera sensitivity in the options menu. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Good. Controller support. I do not know how long this game is going to be, nor do I know if it's going to be in multiple parts. But go get my phone ready. We'll see what happens. So am I like controlling his life or something? This is weird. I also don't know how this is going to play out. This could be very good. This could be also a very, very sad game. So uh, This game could be potentially heavy. And if it's heavy, I apologize. I'll, uh, I'll record your video after this. Probably something scary. The pointer in the center of the screen will change it. Oh, shit. Huh. Love you to have a good day. Bye, Harry. See you tonight. Bye, Harry. See you tonight. So many memories, and I've not taken the time to think about how much they mean to me. It's time for a change. Okay. So why is this window blue? I should have looked at this view more. I'll do that from now on. So yeah, as far as I know, I believe the guy I'm controlling, the guy I'm... the guy with the hat or the jacket and the glasses, I assume he committed suicide, I'm assuming? Or he just died. It just said he died, it didn't say how, but I'm gonna take a while to guess to say suicide. Oh god, that just scared the shit out of me for a second. The exercise is good for me. That's what they all say, dude. Sure, I go to the gym, but will that see me through? Little bits of exercise are better than an occasional hour. I've got to think long term. Okay, I can sprint, that's good. We'll never make it otherwise. We? Who's we? going to change things. How? What are you going to do? I am so confused what's going on right now. Also probably going to make this episode 30 minutes since we, uh, since this game looks like it's going to be kind of slow. So this game should be roughly around 30 minutes. Only this part should be around 30 minutes. 
I'm liking the style of the game, though. It's actually a really interesting game so far. I don't understand what the single bit of what's going on, but maybe the story will... It feels like I drifted into these routines. It's a nice car, dude. Hmm. Nice music. Some routines have meaning and purpose. But, I don't know. We're getting lazy, I don't want that. Yeah, being lazy is not good. So I put the. Oh, okay, he's driving now. Okay. This is weird. This is a weird game. It's like a little mini movie. how lucky I've been and I took it for granted so is he the one that's dead or is he one someone I'm guessing we're we're observing the guy, the guy I've let down. myself lose track of what I want after everything we've been through very simple art design but I like it it's Simple yet. It's time to take control. It's a simple grayscale type building, but it, or type map. I always it's smile just, when I see that place. Maybe we'll go there tonight. It's nice. Yeah, it's a nice. You got the grays and everything contrasting off the sun, the distance, and the sky. You get the little shades of red and color. And it's a very interesting color palette, and I like when games do this. When games do a color palette like this, it really sets the mood. Makes things more in depth and sometimes even more powerful. We used to walk in the park together. We should do more of that. Who's this we? I assume he's talking to his roommate that he talked to when he uh, left. I didn't expect it, but I feel happy I've made this choice. Oh. Okay, all right. So, it wasn't suicide, it was a car accident. Okay. So now we're here. Patterns. Oh. I hate alarms. The alarm. same start again. The same alarm tone that Harry can sleep through. Are they a couple? Or is this a Is this a gay couple? I think of these routines as optimized living. Like they allow me time to focus on other things. But I've not been doing that. If, this, if, like, Henry is his boyfriend or husband, that's fucking awesome. The story of this game automatically gets a five. I 
think I'll wear this one. It's Harry's favorite t-shirt on me. Yeah, I'm gonna assume they're boyfriends. I love this painting. And I can't remember the last time I really looked at it. Actually, it's a really beautiful painting. I would love to have some like that hanging up in the garage here or something. I reread the same books time and again. It's comforting, I guess. It is actually. I have on my phone, I have uh, several stories, like books saved my phone. I constantly reread them over and over again because it's fun. Anything else in this room? Nope, there's a hoodie. I'm grateful for everything we have, but probably not as much as I should be. It would be easy to think I wasn't happy. I am, I think. I mustn't let it slide away. I mean, it's already kind of sad, but... I usually go to the bathroom first, but I could live dangerously. Maybe I should have breakfast first today. Living on the edge. Oh my god, did you live in dangerous? I, I get the feeling this game's gonna get Was real. that the first domino to fall? To change the future? Dun dun da. <laughs> it's actually kind of witty and I like this. I, I hope this doesn't get really sick. Tea. I don't know if I can handle... <laughs> After Remembrance and that other video, and that other My Little Pony animation, I, I don't think I can handle any more sadness this month. <laughs> A man takes the lead, Grandma would tell me. I guess I need to step up to the line. I've got a great thing here. It is a nice house. Or apartment. This is actually just really nice in general. She's a good woman at heart. Old fashioned, but still. She's right. A man steps up to challenges. I'll ask Harry to marry me. Husband and husband for the rest of our lives. Oh, they are okay, they are they are boyfriends. Okay. Oh god, this is this is gonna get really, really sad. I just know it. Now that I found out that that after I'm that out, I just, this is gonna get really, really sad. Jesus. I'm not sure Grandma would approve. She's come a long way. It's hard to tell with her. It is hard sometimes to tell whether they'll accept it or not. Okay, so. The pointer in the center of the screen will change shape if it automatically moves to you. Okay. I'm actually in, really in. I'm actually getting into the story. I'm liking it. Naturally, as Will's grandmother, I visited Will in hospital on the first day that he was born. James, Will's father, handed him to me wrapped in a little blue blanket. I'll never forget that moment. He was such a handsome baby. James ran three London pubs in the 1980s. Of that punk sort. He looked awful with that leather jacket and those sort of things. That's not the sort of thing for children. So I would babysit as often as possible to make sure he had someone normal in his life. That's kind of fucked up. You can be normal and be a punk. Sharon was an art teacher. She always had her nose in a magazine full of pictures. It's not the way to inspire a young man to a career, if you ask me. But that plant was about all Will saw of the outside when he was young. He preferred to make up stories rather than play outdoors. Same. Will had to play by himself a lot. Sharon had complications at the birth, so he was never going to have brothers or sisters. Sad. James and Sharon would always be putting on some awful music, if you could call it that. Not my cup of tea at all. I turned it off first thing whenever I was babysitting. Sometimes Sharon, Will's with. mother, met my James when he was working in London. She's American. 
They broke up for three years, and she took Will to America with her. Oh, okay. So, is there anything else I missed? Oh, there is. James had horror books in the house, and I'm so glad they were kept on a high shelf away from Will. Terrible things. I just don't understand what pleasure there is in that kind of story. I only wanted the best for Will. I... I must sound like I was terribly damning of James and Sharon. But I loved Will as a boy and wanted to give him the best chance of a normal no, life. No, her heart's in the right place, if not just misguided. But like I said my uh, unless some, like I said in my other um, videos, horror is good. I remember that night scared. because Will because had been does. unusually quiet all evening. So is Will the one that died in the car accident? And did that person die in the car accident? Because he told me that he'd been in a fight. Oh. Another boy had been calling a girl names because she had dark skin. Oh. Will was punched in the stomach when he tried to get the boy to stop. He's a good, Will's a good I fish. asked him if he had cried and he said yes. There's nothing wrong with crying. I told him that big boys don't cry. I remember him asking me then, what do big boys do when they're sad? I suppose I didn't answer his question. I told him that he would be a good man when he was grown up and be able to stand up for himself. I told him that he was right to try to stop the bully. Oh, is this, um... Oh, I actually love these things. These are fun. I forget what they're called. I think, uh, Ruth... Ruth Goldberg machines or something Now I think like about this. I think he didn't see much happier. What should I have said? Will tripped on a toy when he was going to bed. Oh. At least it wasn't a Lego. If it was a Lego, that, that kid would be fucking dead. If it was a Lego, that shit hurts. I remember carrying him. He was trying so hard not to cry. <laughs> He was so small in my arms. I've never forgotten that feeling. This game is... I actually may not do 30 minutes. I may just do this whole game in one sitting. Depending on how long it is. Because I really don't want to stop playing. This game is... I am actually getting really enwrapped in the story, and I'm liking this a lot. I have so many little memories making up our lives together. It's odd what sticks with you, though. It really is, and what you remember, what you want to remember, and what you can I took can him to remember. bed to read him a story. That's an awesome wallpaper, honestly. <laughs> I love, like, the space rocket kitty design. I like that, actually. And he's got a plane, ha plane hanging above his bed. That's pretty cool. He liked ghost stories, but I thought he was too young for them. He would get very scared after the light was out. Sharon kept on buying him more, though. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I he still would never I'm settle still properly dark. until I had checked the room for ghosts. <laughs> What's this? I made sure he could see me looking carefully. <laughs> Are there any ghosts in here? Let me check. Oh yeah, there's a big one. There's a big one under the bed. What? Good night. I'd be a terrible. Actually, no. I'd be a damn good father if I had children. I want children. At some I point remember in my life. promising him while I looked. That I would always protect him. I would always be there for him. I'm sure he thought I just meant about ghosts. But I meant it for everything. I always remember that feeling. I wonder if I knew his life wouldn't be easy. So did she know? 
I'm someone. Is this the same kid? Is this kid the guy the guy we were playing as earlier? I was reading Grimm's fairy tales to him. I liked those much more than the new versions that they kept on coming out with back then. I'm sorry. Can I, all right, you didn't want him to. You didn't want Will to read horror books, and you did not understand why his mother kept buying him ghost books. Yet you read to him grim fairy tales. Am I the only one that sees an issue with this right here? Have Have you actually read a Grimm's fairy tale? Fucking dark. It was a strange story that night, called. The Ungrateful Son. I'll tell it to you. It's only short. Oh, goody, a story. Just what I want. Once upon a time, a man and his wife were eating a roast chicken for dinner. When the man saw his father, who was very old, walking up the road towards them, the man didn't want to share, and so he hid the chicken out of sight. Oh, that's a dick His father move. came, bid them a good day, and went on his way. That's a dick move, dude. You don't hide chicken from someone. The man was happy with himself and told his wife to get the chicken and put it on the table again. But the chicken had transformed into a giant toad, which leapt onto the face of the man. The toad wouldn't leave his face and hissed at the wife when she came near, so she didn't dare approach to help. The man had to feed the toad every day from then on, or it would bite his face. And he never rested for the remainder of his life. That was a very strange story. God, well that was... That that went 0 to 100 real fucking quick. Just gonna hide this chicken. Oh God, frog! Will was asleep before I finished it. Which was probably a Damn, good that thing. fucker falls asleep fast. It would take, it would take, it would, when I was younger, it would take like three or four stories like that to get me to go to sleep. Shit. So what else is there to turn to touch? Ah, the Emperor. Turn on all the lights. No, not this one? Okay. Good night, Will. I felt strange after reading it. I wondered about whether I really could keep him safe. Oh shit, the timer has been going to I knew I would do my best to help him find his place in the world. Any other grandmother would try to do the same. You gotta love grandmother sometimes. I could still see him sleeping there now. Like it was only yesterday. Flashbacks. Oh. And you can pause the game by pressing escape or start on my controller. I'm so glad this thing completely played because uh, I have room for my mouse with me right before me right now. Oh. I never thought it would be easy, but I had raised James. So I thought I would be ready for anything from my grandson, Will. The world changes so quickly. I remember the family visiting me when Will was a teenager. Okay, it is the same guy. I started a small collection of glass animals many years ago. I would buy a new one whenever I went to Brighton. It's good to get out of the house, enjoy the fresh sea air. I'm sorry, I love ocean cities and I love the sea air. I do though, I really love like ocean. Did you ever hear the song, Here in My Heart? That was playing when Robert first kissed me. Al Martino had a beautiful voice. They don't sing like that anymore. Such a shame. Oh, I 
wish we could hear it. My husband Robert was a writer. Sadly, he died before Will really knew him. He could have gone far if he'd applied himself a bit more. <laughs> Damn, Granny. That's fucked up. He could have gone farther had he tried harder. It's hard to be a writer. I would know. We family over in New Zealand. I went to visit them after James had grown up. We still write letters to each other at Christmas, you know. It's important to stay in touch with your family, even when we're so spread out. A little bit of frame rate issues whenever I turn, but that's fine. So what do I click on next? Ah, newspaper. Back then, Diana had just done that interview, and so we were all waiting for the divorce. There was no way we thought that they could stay together. Oh! Is this... Oh... That's before she got her... She died in the car accident. People seem to believe that all us old folk want to talk about is the weather. So I started the conversation. Back in my day, we used to talk about other things. I think... It's sad. She was bullied into all of this from the beginning. What? I... I could have handled the rest of the conversation better. I lost my temper a bit. Sharon didn't join in, but it wasn't hard to imagine what an American might think of it all. That James mean? didn't help. He has always been so obtuse in his views. She's American, so she, what's that supposed to mean? I wish I hadn't even tried. They didn't want to hear my views. Yeah, I, I said that I was going to make some tea. No one offered to help. It's a really interesting game. I'm actually really liking it. I just don't know how long it is, though. I think I assume it's pretty long. Make the tea. I felt patronized. I don't think they really wanted tea. I didn't really want it either, but I didn't want to stay in there. Oh. I suppose all this seems like a strange thing to remember. But it was a sad day for me. It's easier to be different now, but all he could see was the need of one person, at the risk to everything else. I wish Will understood that you've got to fit in to get along in life. No, you don't. No, you there don't. wasn't any choice in my day, but it gave me a quiet life. That was good enough. James and Sharon were both adults, but Will... I was scared for him. He had all these views about things. And it was dangerous. I was so scared that Will was going to go off half-cocked and make a mess of his life. I'm starting to see what's going on here. I stood there, waiting for the tea to brew. And I cried for him. He was young, but he was old enough too. He was going to make mistakes, and I wouldn't be able to stop him. I just don't get why it's an issue. I knew I that's what I'm something about. had been broken that day between Will and I. This is actually really sad. I like, took a deep breath and pulled myself together. I know the grandmother is old and she has an old way of thinking. It simply doesn't do to let others see you get upset. I feel bad for both her and Will so much. I feel worse for Will because Will's under more stress than she is. That shit's not easy. Especially to grandparents. It's really hard to come out to them. Ooh, no bad mic. 
I've lived alone since a little time after Will was born. That was when Robert passed away. I missed him, of course. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. This was fragments of him, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I am definitely going to be playing more of this. The story is phenomenal. It's really roping me in with the characters. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And leave a comment below if you want me to react to something or if you want me to play something. And remember, this is a new thing. So every so reactions every Tuesday and Thursday, and gameplay every Saturday. Peace.